Hello guys, this is Will Cable back with another video and today really I haven't really got a specific topic to talk to you guys about so I'm just going to be blabbing on, watching gameplays, playing it around. Um, I do have Warriors loaded up here because Warrior Mania is actually coming to you guys soon. Um, if you guys look in the new section of the Boom I can't even, Boombox I think it's called, um, if you look here it's coming soon Friday to m Sunday, Friday to Sunday yeah, I think so, we'll just have a look here one second, just have a look how long, s yep, if you see here it's yeah Friday through to Monday, yeah we've got Warrior Mania, so that's going to be awesome guys, that basically means everyone's going to be wiping their maps out, so I'd probably recommend you guys to basically make a base that is a really anti-warrior base, because you're definitely going to be getting attacked by it. So, um, that's right, get your flamethrowers round about, spread your shock launchers out, um, sometimes the normal route, um, that the, basically the warriors will take, try and lay mines throughout that route, um, obviously keep every single rocket launcher in range of the, of the, um, of the base, if you know that you're obviously going to lose, try and get at least some boom cannons in range, so you can take some troops out, so you can at least get some diamonds, guys, never ever ever put your headquarters right out at the front you may as well have some sort of defenses round about so you can at least get some gold and eh, not gold get some diamonds from it and obviously no one doesn't like diamonds everyone likes diamonds so and um, let me just show you some gameplay right now i was playing around with tap medics um and i think i was just cleaning my map i was just randomly playing this was earlier today so i'm not particularly sure if this is even any good um, this particular attack, so we'll put it on times two for you guys. Um, yeah, so we have the grapple. This is a perfect example of how I really, really was dealing with the grapple here. Obviously, I lost some troops off at the start. I was actually waiting um, for my tanks to be pulled with the grapple to see what can happen. I did shock it there, um, but obviously, I didn't take out with the barrage and artillery because I wanted to see exactly how it works. So they dropped pretty fast, so I decided to drop a smoke. And as you guys see here, they were picking troops one by one, even when they're in the smoke. So this is a really, really good way to counter the, the grapple. That's a perfect example. Smoke the, the grapple, so therefore when the troops are dragged into it, um, it basically means you can actually do this with Scorchers, and I think this will be a, even more of an advantage. In theory, you could use the grapple to almost get your troops further up. Um, the battlefield. I really want to find a, a base example of this, and I want to show you guys basically how to counter how to counter the grapple with the scorchers. If I have a base on my map with the grapple, this will be great. And um, but if I don't, I'm going to make a specific video for that and an exclusive video, just showing you guys basically how I'm going to get around that. So here we go back in with another attack. I think I'm actually down in yeah, I'm down in tanks in this specific attack this is one of the brand new npc bases that they added to the game in that recent update there and um, just using tank medics one of my favorite all-time strategies and um, obviously if i have less tanks therefore i have more gunboat energy to start off with so i sometimes go in attacks with not all my tanks anyway it's sometimes really fun and it sometimes makes it a little bit easier in some specific scenarios where you need a little bit more gunboat energy um, in a specific uh, map so let's see here we've got i did have I'm going to just say, hey, here we go, 40 gems. Let's try and see if my warrior attack strategy is actually... Um, let's be honest, guys. My warrior attacks are pretty bad. This is why I'm really looking forward to getting my warrior play back. I used to play it way back in the day, but I've kind of lacked off it now. Find new opponents. You can actually find a new opponent while you're in this screen, which is pretty cool. Never really noticed that before. So here we go. We're going to barrage this. Clear some mines away. Obviously, we've got a hot pot there. We're really going to have to decide where we're going to shock. We want to shock round about here. Here. And here. And then critter here. So we've got three different positions here. I'm going to try and execute this well. I'm going to try and get my single smoke out ready. And then smoke onto there. So we get the... Get the warriors in there nicely then we're going to nicely flare in got should have a perfect yeah, that's perfect there then we're just going to be smoking right up to that base and that was a pretty nice one there yep that's looking good i'm quite liking that even though there's a little bit of space that means my smoke placement was not the best so we're going to try this dun 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 critter we've still got enough for another um oh my goodness that's a notification pop up 
Still got enough as well for another shock and another critter. So we managed to do that pretty nicely. That means that guy must have had a little bit of ice statues. Yes, he had two ice statues, but that doesn't really matter. We managed to take that down pretty pretty okay. So that's basically most of the warrior attack strategies that I do. You place out where you want to place your shocks and critters. And obviously, um, I'm not a professional warrior player. If you were really, really good with warriors, you would know exactly how many shocks and critters you, you would be allowed to place. I should probably work that out in terms of how much gunboat energy I have. I do run um, I have that much there. In fact, I've just noticed that there's a... That's where my, one of my statues has disappeared to. I've got several statues here. Um, I'm running 17% uh, Gumbo Energy. And I'm also running another 17% Gumbo Energy. And I'm running a, a 389. And if you guys want to compare some of my statues with you, this is, I've got really bad statues in terms of my uh, Guardians, guys. I've only got a 27 damage, and I've only got a 28 health. And I've played this game a hell of a lot. And I just can't seem to get it. I just, honestly, look at this. That's unbelievable how I've played this game so much. And I've, um, I'm so unlucky with the Guardians and stuff like that. Um, look how much Gumboat Energy I've got. Not, not Gumboat Energy, Power Powder I have. And if you notice, I'm probably saving these up. It's just because of the fact that um, I'm hoping hoping in the near future that they bring out an update where at least green statues become a little bit more useful for more high-level players. Um, yeah, that would be a lot better. If you have a look here, we're going to look at one more attack, guys. I don't really know. I thought I'd just make a video for you guys just because of the fact that we need to try and bring daily videos for you guys on Boom Beach. And I think I've, some of the support lately on the channel with the Boom Beach videos has been really great. I'm going to be trying to basically make a lot more of the these type of videos. So here we go, Carrot Feeder, probably my face favourite NPC base in the entire game. It's so easy with tank medics. You lay it in, you barrage and artillery these two things here, take them out, therefore the tanks and medics can work their way up there themselves. And then all you need to do is get rid of that shock and boom cannon and then it's game over for them. So there we go. Grade and our, uh, barrage and artillery, barrage there times two and we're going to steam roll through this last bit of the base and it's going to be super super easy guys um i can't really can't really stress that enough so you guys pretty much know what video is going to be tomorrow warrior base tomorrow warrior mania crap load of warrior base we're going to be trying different kinds of strategies out for you guys trying to be cool attacks with the warriors so there we go that is it for this video guys it's been pretty short but um look forward tomorrow for some really cool warrior gameplay and i'm hope you guys enjoy it so obviously some of you lower level players might not necessarily know the best strategy for taking down bases with warriors but i'm a pretty experienced player even though i don't use warriors too much i'm very good with tank medics something that i play a lot with and um, but anyway hope you guys really enjoyed the video please subscribe for another boom beach video and i'll see you guys next time goodbye